Hey H&K fans, James here with another Target of Opportunity video from H&K's Gray Room. And I thought I would showcase a couple of P7 uh, M-Series pistols. Uh, one of the most uh, notable that many fans have never seen before is the actual P7 M7, which is a rare uh, 45 caliber prototype model that never really made it into full production. Um, obviously, we're much more familiar with the P7 M8 and M13 and 9mm um, that we saw come out in the mid-1980s and followed up the original P7 design. Um, but at that same time period, there was an interest in, especially for the U.S. Uh, law enforcement market and commercial market, in offering a 45 caliber version. Um, they did a limited number of these um, models, and this is the only one that I'm aware of that is still in, uh, in the U.S., uh, here in the gray room. Um, and this is actually serial number 002. This one also has a unique uh, nickel finish that we didn't see in the other weapons until, uh, until a uh, early 1990s run of the other P7 series weapons. Uh, what you can tell from looking at them in a side-by-side -side type comparison is that the P7 M7 is just a little bit longer in the grip, it's a little bit wider dimensionally, and, and it's a little bit longer in the front. Um, but otherwise, um, pretty uh, similar inside, except for the actual functional operation of the gun that we'll talk about here in a moment. And then you can see the magazine is, is again, a simple uh, single stack design based off of the nine millimeter variant. And that got the designation of P7 M7 based off of the seven round magazine capacity um, of those magazines. When they were designing these weapons, the original P7s in nine millimeter, operated utilizing a gas piston against a gas cylinder. Um, and the way this, this functioned as a gas retarded delay system is there's actually a small port uh, inside the barrel, just forward of the chamber area. And that port opens up into a gas cylinder underneath the barrel. And so when the weapon is, is fired, um, and that cartridge is detonated, the bullet goes down the barrel and part of that escaping gas behind the, the, uh, the bullet is diverted down into that gas cylinder. It tries to move forward out of the gas cylinder and it's met with this gas piston and it creates a seal and, and actually locks the weapon into locking position. The P7 series is the only weapon that I'm aware of where the eight step cycle of operation, the locking step happens um, after firing instead of for firing. Um, it holds the slide in place until the bullet leaves the barrel, the gas pressures equalize, and then the resistance can be overcome in the gas pill and, uh, cylinder and piston, and the weapon uh, goes into recoil. When they were designing the 45 variant and different pressures with the 45 uh, caliber ammunition, they decided that they were going to need to go to a different system. And the, all of the history information and the actual models that I've gotten to see of this P7 M7 use a recoil um, buffer, hydraulic buffer system, not a gas piston system. And that's the way I've always understood it to be. And I've seen this actual pistol in here multiple times and never really paid enough attention to this until recently when I took the gun apart. And what I noticed was, if you looked inside the slide, it had the exact same cutout here at the front portion of the tang um, square notch and the roll pin hole for a gas piston. And if you looked underneath the barrel, just like you do when you look underneath the barrel of a P7M8, you see a gas cylinder. So what this tells me is that this initial early prototype, serial number 002, was actually designed with a gas piston, and they must have decided that that wasn't an effective uh, device for this. So the later models that I have seen that have the uh, hydraulic buffer must have been the change to it. Now, this original gas piston has long since been removed from the gun, um, but at least I can verify now that this model holds additional uh, kind of uniqueness and importance in the range in the fact that it, it was one of the early gas piston uh, system ones. This model also holds somewhat of an urban lore uh, legendary status in the fact that uh, we've been told that in the 80s um, drama series, really popular show, Miami Vice, that this pistol was actually presented for use 
by the main character, Sonny Crockett, um, but when they decided to um, not run this into full-scale production, they retrieved that back, and, and he was given the Bryn 10 uh, instead as his pistol. So really unique model. If you're ever here in the gray room, um, I definitely recommend you take a chance to uh, take a look at it, especially if you're a P7 fan. Uh, we'll have this in the new uh, upcoming Vickers Guide uh, book, um, HK Volume 1, uh, coming here soon. So glad to share it with you guys. Thanks so much. Take care.